If you're wondering if the brand new Galaxy S23 Ultra with this new 200 megapixel primary camera, that's right, 200 megapixels, if that can take better photos and videos than the iPhone 14 Pro, well, you've come to the right place. This is our iPhone 14 Pro versus Galaxy S23 Ultra camera comparison. Let's get to it. As always, we're gonna let the photos and videos really just speak for themselves, but let's do a quick rundown of the specifications for the cameras here. We're starting off with the Galaxy S23 Ultra and its 200 megapixel primary camera that can also capture 8K video at up to 30 frames per second. On the back, there's also two 10 megapixel sensors for 3X and 10X zoom and a 12 megapixel sensor for the ultra wide camera. And then a new 12 megapixel sensor up front for the selfie camera. And all of those can capture 4K video at up to 60 frames per second. As for the iPhone 14 Pro, it has a new 48 megapixel sensor this year for that primary camera, but then it has 12 megapixel sensors for the ultra wide 3X telephoto and also the selfie camera up front. For video capture, all of those can do 4K video at 60 FPS. And here we're looking at video capture on both of these devices, starting off with the ultra wide cameras and then switching over to those main sensors. And then 3X zoom on both devices. Again, this is going to be optical zoom here, but the Galaxy S23 Ultra does have a 10X periscope camera as well, allowing you to get in much closer to your subject. And for video capture from the selfie cameras, both the iPhone and the Galaxy S23 Ultra can capture 4K video at up to 60 frames per second. Some of the few devices that are on the market that can actually do this. So we're looking at 4K 30 FPS right now. That being said, if you do want to capture the best video possible, you're going to have to flip the phone around and use that main sensor, which I'm going to show you right now. And here we go, video capture with the main sensors on the back of both of these devices. It does crop in a little bit closer than that selfie camera does, but it does produce much better video quality and especially dynamic range.
This right here is the perfect situation to test out the selfie cameras and their dynamic range being in a dark alley and then stepping out into the light on the other side to see which one does better. Looks like the Galaxy S23 Ultra took a little bit to recover there as far as the dynamic range goes and exposing the clouds properly behind me. But it did seem to catch up a little bit though. The iPhone does have a really dark sky in the corners there. Not sure if you can see that. give you a look at video capture and low light situations. We're starting these off with the zoom cameras on the back of these phones and then switching over to the 3x zoom on both devices as well. And then of course with the Galaxy S23 Ultra you can go all the way to 10x zoom. Gets in so much closer than zooming all the way out to the ultra wide as well. bit of video from the selfie camera and low light situations. Both of these phones do an incredibly good job when compared to a lot of the competitors that are out there. Being able to capture 4K video up to 60 frames per second is impressive, but just the video quality itself that you get out of the selfie cameras in low light situations like this is really good. But I'm gonna flip things around to the front facing camera to show you just how much better that is with the same exact lighting. 
And now this here is the main sensors on the back of both of these devices in low light conditions as well. As you can see, definitely a lot better, even though you are a little bit closer in these types of situations, holding the phone out might not be the best option possible, but if you want the best video, it definitely is. And that's gonna do it for this camera comparison between the iPhone 14 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Let me know what you think of the results in the comments below and which device you would rather use on a day-to-day -day basis for capturing your photos and videos. I do have more camera comparisons coming up with the Galaxy S23 Ultra, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.